What's up YouTube? Brandon here with Beard Guy ADC, coming back at you guys with another video today. Uh, this one's gonna be a quick unboxing. I just got it for Christmas, so we're gonna jump in here and do kind of a review, kind of a first impressions type thing. But uh, yeah, we're mostly here for the unboxing today. The knife we're gonna be looking at today is the CJRB Crag. I actually got this one from the girlfriend for Christmas. Beautiful knife, gotta say I'm very happy with it. Uh, it's uh, actually a carbon fiber scales with uh, D2 blade steel, but uh, we'll get more into that when I unbox the knife and actually look at it a bit more. I actually filmed the unboxing already, but uh, I've been carrying this little guy here, the CJRB Craig, for the last couple of days now. Once I carry this guy for a little bit longer and actually use it a bit more, I'll do a more in-depth review on it. But for now, like I said, we'll just do a kind of first impressions, quick little overview of the knife and uh, maybe a little comparison to another knife. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Lots more content coming your way. Stay tuned for more. And uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's jump on in and have a great day. All right, you guys. Today we're going to be doing a unboxing and a kind of snap review on the CJRB Crag. I actually got this CJRB Crag for Christmas uh, just a couple days ago. And yeah, I figured I'd do a little unboxing and kind of a quick little review for you guys. Okay, let's jump on into this review and unboxing. So, here we have the CJRB box. Put a little Instagram shout out there. So I actually have the carbon fiber version of the crag. So yeah, let's open the box here. Okay. Nothing inside besides the knife and a little baggie here and some silica gel. Very nice. I gotta say I'm a big fan of this already. It's got a nice weight to it. It feels good in the hand. Great action. Is it drop shutty? Yes, it is. Nice. I gotta say this is a Nice little folder, the CJRB Craig. So this is actually gonna be a nice little chunk of D2 here. We've got a 3.5 inch blade with I believe a 3.125 inch cutting edge. Very nice and capable blade. It's a 0.13 inches thick. So not the thickest blade, but some good blade stock of D2 if you ask me. So yeah, that's just a quick unboxing there. Now uh, let's jump into the first impressions. So, as I said, this is a flipper knife, which I'm a big fan of flippers. Can't really go wrong with a good flipper. I like the, uh, the orange accent in the, uh, the washer there for the pivot screw. I gotta say, it really makes the carbon fiber pop a little nicer. As you can see, we've got a very deep carry pocket clip there. It uh, makes for a nice uh, gentlemanly carry, especially with the carbon fiber. It's a very nice looking knife. Not the heaviest knife in the world. It comes in at about 4.88 ounces, so just under five ounces. My Artisan Cutlery Osprey is actually almost seven ounces. It's just over six. So yeah, this is a fair bit lighter. It feels, it feels hefty, but it's not, it's not heavy. It feels solid is the best way to describe this knife. It feels very solid in the hand. Overall, I really, really like the design of this one. I'm, uh, I'm really glad I got it as a gift. It's, something, it's one that I've been wanting to purchase for a while, but I've just been putting other knives ahead of it but I'm very thankful I got this as a gift. Absolutely in love with it so far. I'm probably gonna end up carrying this every day and you'll get a uh, bit better of a review out of it. But as I said, this is just gonna be a quick little snap review just to kinda jump in here and show you guys what I think this knife is capable of and just give you some of the rundown on the specs of it. So without any further ado, I'll uh, pop out another small sheep's foot just to compare the size. And let's compare that up against the QSP Penguin. So the QSP Penguin has a 3.125 inch blade, also a sheep's foot. Definitely not quite the heft that the CJRB has. It's coming in about 3.5 ounces, maybe a little bit heavier than that. I'm not sure on the specs exactly, but certainly a lot lighter than the, uh, than the Crag. It has a thumb stud action, so there's no flipper there, but I'm not mad about that. It's still pretty smooth and snappy. Some nice jimping there. Speaking of the jimping, that is my only complaint about the crag. There's no jimping on the flipper tab. 
and there's no jimping on the spine of the knife or on the handles. So it's very smooth. You can you can you can grip down on it, but you just don't get that traction that you get from jimping. And I know that's being nitpicky. Some people prefer no jimping, but for me, I just really like having that extra security of the knife feeling really solid in your hand. So the jimping, I'm missing, but I'm not mad about it. The CRG, CRJB Craig is still a beautiful knife. A little bit of jimping there on the Penguin. Like I said, it just kind of makes it feel that little bit more solid in your hand. So yeah, let's just do a little comparison there of the size between the Penguin and the Craig. So that's what you're looking at for the size difference there. Not a huge size difference, mostly in the thickness of the blade. The Penguin is about 0.8 inches wide, I believe, whereas this is about 1.5 inches wide. So it's a little bit bigger, but like I said, some people prefer a big chunky knife for their tasks. That's a little comparison for you guys. And yeah, now we'll jump in and uh, like every other video, I ended off with a pocket check for you guys here today. So I usually start off with the knife that I'm carrying for the day, but instead let's start off with the pen. So today I've got my Let's Go Brandon Paca pen. Let's go me. I've also got my Olight i3T EOS, great little flashlight. And last but not least, I'm also carrying my Concept Prickle. I've already done a review on this Concept Prickle. This one's also in carbon fiber, but this one has a S35VN steel, so a little bit uh, more of a high-end steel with this one. But yeah, same polished carbon fiber look. Nice little knife. That's it for the pocket check today. Not a whole lot on me. You guys have seen the penguin for the comparison. I guess that's technically on me. So yeah, that's the pocket check for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video, this uh, short unboxing and uh, first impressions review. After I've used the knife a bit more, I hopefully will be able to give a more comprehensive review and let you know, let you guys know how the edge holds up and, and all that, how it feels in the hand while it's actually cutting. I can speak for the ergos upon opening the box, but you don't really get a good feel for the ergos until you actually use the knife. So like I said, we'll, do a, we'll jump back in this one for a more comprehensive review. That's, uh, that's the CRJB Crag and my little pocket check for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content and comment and let me know what you guys want to see. And as always, take her easy and have a great day.